Can we see in the video? I think we can see. Yeah. They're pretty good, right? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> this is back from Florida. I'm here with Dr. Robert Morris again. And if you've been following him, you know how much I love him. He's uh, the guru and the teacher and the Stop. overall spiritual this is, leader this is when it comes the, to... This is the guru right here. <laughs> this is the little guru. I said I would open up all the what videos with the oh, little guru. Isn't that oh, cute? He's cute. <laughs> Every breath, right? Every breath. How simple. Oh. How connected. Oh, I mean, <laughs> these parents out here are mm -hmm. giving birth to some of these high souls. Yeah. And we're going to see some cool yeah. things because yeah. our, our people are opening themselves up. Yeah. They're having children, which is opening themselves yeah. up. We're going to see some extremely aware stuff coming to yeah. this planet. Yeah. It's exciting. If people only knew how important this all is. I know. Oh, I'm telling you. I can't for the even... young people, I, oh, mean, for the I young honor people. you. I honor you. I have yeah. so many young people. They step up right now. Oh. They stop what they're doing. Yep. They're changing everything yep. up. Well, they've they're, been they're, suffering. They're changing their the genes. Sh they're changing their whole makeup, their whole physiology to have yeah. healthier children. And not only that, they're they're feeding their children healthier. You know, exactly. they're stepping towards well, that's that. That's the point. You know, it's like, oh. Because of you. Because well, of your I mean, teachings, because of your videos and everything you're well, putting out there. Well, because of all of us, though, we're all together as a team, and that, that's the cool thing, you Such know. Such a humble man. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, so I, you know, we've been talking in other videos, and we love to talk spirituality, and I wanted mm. to do that today. But I also wanted, if you would, you know, people like testimonials. They like just to know what people can do, you know, what you've seen. Because this is a little, you know, maybe private, but you've seen a lot of things. And you don't have to mention names, you don't have to be specific. But there's a lot of people out there that are just hungry to know what's possible and what you've seen being a facilitator okay. for more than 40, 45 years. All right, so let me, you know? I'll just read you one thing here. Just okay. to give you kind of an example. Yeah, what's of, possible. Uh, I mean, well, I know a little bit about it because I've gone through this myself. Not only just what's possible, you know? but the consciousness out there on this planet. Yeah has been abused quite a bit by the powers that be. Now you can pull back and pull back spiritually and who's the battle really with? Mm -hmm. right? It's with itself. It has two sides to itself, the positive and negative side. And they're actually the, same, the opposite sides of the same coin. Where you have the positive, you will always have the negative. You always have duality no matter what. Mm -hmm. And so the negative forces had ruled here quite a while. And so the medical community has brainwashed people so much that there are this concept of diseases, they're incurable, they're genetics, and all the same like that. And here's one of them, and I'm just going to read this one because Thank you. this is some poor lady here that, it, I know she's good intended, but this is what happens when you close the door to truth. All right? Okay. So this is from Veronica. All right, and she says, his, I guess meaning me, information on Huntington's disease is incorrect. It is a fatal genetic disease. All right, there's no such thing, Veronica, as a fatal genetic disease. All right, you'll have to first understand that when you refer to genetics, you're referring to the cell, right? You're referring to the consciousness of the cell. All right, he says he can get this, the, the tissues to normalize. Normalize? That is simply not true. I know people who are dying of it right now. Absolutely. It is brutal. And it's not the only thing that's brutal, dear one. Every disease out there is brutal, it honey. Is brutal. Every one of them. You're talking about an yeah. RA here. Major brutal. And that's not what we're arguing. It's, that it doesn't exist on that, that level. That it isn't brutal. Yeah, that's not yeah. brutal. Yeah. No. It, uh, it is brutal. And frankly, his statements are irresponsible and insulting. Well, only to those that don't want to grow and learn the truth, then you might take that. Because what you're doing is you're wrestling with the allopathic consciousness of one diseases, and two, there's no cure to that. Of course, they don't cure anything, honey. So you're, 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 you're trying to impose that consciousness on everybody else, and pretty much you're saying, you've got it, you're going to die with it, and you keep it. That's what you're saying. You're shutting off your ability to grow and learn the truth, and you don't want to do that. But if you do that, then you won't grow. You will stay where you are while others all around you will continue to grow. Yeah. Uh, I know. Okay, so let me go on here. He says to focus on the lymphatic system, and that is the problem, is acidosis. Really? Really? And tell me why. You know, when you understand Huntington's, and you understand the, this basal ganglia, and you understand cells, and you understand atrophy, 
This is just atrophy it of is. neurons, yeah. basically. Yeah. Same thing, yeah. central nervous system. Yeah. It's just the decay of that. Yeah. You have to understand that everything, if, you, if you're going to use the word diseases, okay, but everything yeah. is controlled by chemistry, dear one. Everything is controlled by chemistry. Mm -hmm. So let's use the word Huntington's. You can use the word anything you want. ALS, MS, ALS, ABC, 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 You can just keep on going. ABC, ABC, yeah. ABC, yeah. You can keep yeah. on going. Yeah. You have to look at those in the context of chemistry because if you don't, you're living in a world of unconsciousness where people make up stuff and don't know what causes it and everybody's dying from it. And that's where you can lock yourself away for way yeah. too long and you don't want to do that, sweetheart. And it's not working so far. It's not working. They can't cure anything. No, so if you're, if you're dying with something and you, the, 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 the physicians or the, the, the modality you chose to help you can't help you, wouldn't you naturally feel like you need to change and look somewhere else? And a lot of you don't. And that is, that is not a sign of a high spiritual awareness yeah. because you're not caring for yourself enough to seek truth. Yeah. You're just going to accept what you were told by a bunch of white coats that have no clue what causes it. Read your medical dictionaries. You'll find no cause that they know of. Yeah. What causes atrophy of a cell? What side of chemistry? And still, yeah, and still we're protecting that. Still idea. we're protecting. She's protecting this yeah. idea yeah. that has is this absurd yeah. because she has no is idea the, the why the lymph. Syndrome? Why would we talk about the lymph system in Huntington's or any disease? Why yeah. would we talk about the side of chemistry that deals with atrophy and decay? Mm. See, and that's what she's not understanding. So I want to read on because this is important because a lot of people fall into this. Yeah. What nonsense. He literally said all these things correct themselves. Listen at 3421 to what he says. To Do not video. believe this man. Again, unfortunately, fatal genetic disease. That's where you just don't get it, honey. Every cell in your body is a genetic cell. Every one of them. That does, a cell doesn't cause atrophy. A cell is a cell. Yeah. So what causes atrophy of a cell? A cell doesn't just atrophy on its own. What atrophies a cell? What breaks down a cell? We only have two sides yeah, of chemistry. Yeah. Guess and pick acidosis. one. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And acidosis is of what system? Not the blood, because your friend wouldn't be alive. It is, has nothing to do with the blood. It has everything to do with the lymphatic system and how the lymphatic system interstitially is around the basal ganglia and everywhere else in the body. Mucoid, they call that, uh, she talks about mucoid here a little bit. Uh, one of the most uh, heartbreaking things I have seen is families who struggle with this. Well, then learn how to fix them. Maybe you want to learn how not to shut off the avenue of truth and growth and then learn how one can go in and get up into these spaces interstitially. Yeah. And the struggling, up. wasn't it even there yeah. already? Yeah, They were really. already struggling. See, they're already suffering. Yeah. Nobody's implying suffering on anyone. Yeah, no one. Offering solutions. Some medications temporarily help to manage some of the symptoms, and that's like yep. bull crap yep. a, a bit. But we we would not serious right. gene therapy to cure this awful disease. Yeah. See, and this is the problem. You have bought in to this consciousness line and sinker, mm -hmm. and you put yourself away from truth. And what happens is you can't find truth now. You, you're lost. So you have to come back here and open your consciousness and understand, not just put a no understand what we're saying. Why would I be calling the lymph system a problem? Why do I, why do I sound like a broken record? Mm. You know, lymphatic, lymphatic, and acid. Why do we sound like that? That's because life rests upon both pillars of chemistry. If you don't understand that, then you don't understand anything about health, diseases, yeah. or anything like that. So to finish this up, some of the symptoms it uh, goes on. If he's responsible about this issue, I feel it is likely he is not trustworthy regarding other things as well. Mm. Yeah. You know, this is the sort of thing, and I feel sorry for this because there's a lot of people like her. I know, and that's that, the flip side of is. the testimonials that's out there. The because, flip side. And, and that's what I feel about letters like that, that mm -hmm. you get, and that we hear all the time, is the fear of taking responsibility, the fear of walking a new path, the fear of new information, that even the label seems more... <laughs> invigorating and interesting to a person that than the new. They, they might, they would rather hold yeah. on to that suffering and yeah. call that truth and die with it than turn around and uh, walk someone. I, and I, that's I, the, yeah. the key to all of this because this has nothing to do with yeah. you or nothing to do with, you know, that this person doesn't like this and this. They're, they're fair shitless. It's just, re they, they are. Change. It, they and are. from taking responsibility but, but themselves. It, it reminds me of the consciousness that we have in this country yeah. where we have this shooter that yeah. shot 59 yeah, that. people, right? Yeah. And so the Democrats are all yelling gun control again. Yeah. 
And no one is taking a look spiritually at why what's going on in the human consciousness because you they'll find a way to kill or the meds that they were probably on. Yeah, they, you, never you never See, know. See, there's another thing. Never to know. You never know if he's on something for depression and antidepressant. You do not know these things, yeah. and to sit there and make these kind of accusations, you know, yeah. is kind of uh, yeah. really ridiculous. But that's and what's works. interesting about Huntington's, like everything else, yeah. they have emotional disturbances and behavioral problems, really, and it is tied. At, you can find the adrenal sticking its head up oh, in Huntington's yeah. oh, everywhere yeah. you look. Oh, yeah. And the adrenal glands, of course, deals with the emotional yeah. side, but also deals with the autonomic nervous yeah. system, right? And it deals with that whole control of kidneys and the lymphatic system and the acid system of the body. That's why, honey, we talk about this, and because you have to understand these systems in the body. If you don't, and you think you just caught something genetically, everything is genetic cell-wise, huh. not the fluids, yeah. not the fluids, that's mama. So cells are genetic, but that doesn't cause the atrophy of a cell. A weakened genetic cell doesn't cause the atrophy of itself. No. No. So what side of chemistry, yeah. what system, that's what you have to look at, dear yeah. one. Yeah. You can insult me all day long, but we cure these things. And here's a great example of an advanced RA case, yeah. uh, practically bedridden, mm. couldn't walk, couldn't do any of these mm -hmm. things. So you just have to see, and we've shown him, yeah. we're about to put up a film, I gotta get it. He's working yeah. on, yeah. on a, an ALS case. Yeah. Couldn't talk, couldn't sing, couldn't walk. Yeah. Now, what about that one, my dear one? Uh, don't know what to do with that one? She's walking, talking, and singing. How, how do we do that? Yeah. Do we just uh, make up this stuff? Because no. we have testimonials the worldwide, dear one. Yeah. So, suggestion, and Veronica, go into meditation. Let what you think you know go and start learning the truth of things. Start mapping these things out scientifically. Use science that we know, not pseudoscience, yeah. of medical thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That's crap. Everything is, is George Huntington, yeah. you know, just made that. And guess what? Dopamine is a big factor in it. Yeah. Well, where do you get your dopamines? Yeah. Adrenal glands. Yeah. So again, you, you have to trace these it's things glands. out. And, and from the exactly. The thyroid, parathyroid, and adrenals. We're talking emotional, big, big upset, time. You know, oh, big, big time. time. Oh, big time. Depression, oh, big time. anxiety. But what brings down a cell? Yeah. You know, you got a thyroid gland. Okay, a thyroid gland. You got actually two of them. Mm. So you got two thyroid glands. All right. So I'm a cell in the thyroid gland. <laughs> I'm a little weak genetically. You know, I'm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't feel the best. You yeah. know, but I can still talk to pretty good. Mucus and yeah. Like yeah, exactly. How are you going to bring me down? Or, you. or how about if you had a healthy thyroid for a while, but now you're diagnosed with hypothyroid. How did you create that? Because you all are creating this. How did you create your hypothyroidism? Oh, I just mm. somehow flew in from Moose Jaw, Alaska. Yeah. That's it. Well, maybe it's contagious. Maybe it's contagious. Maybe yeah, I maybe came up. Maybe you breathed it in from the bus ooh, that you were in. Yeah, you know, know, this is a sort of idiocy that's out there. Yeah. And you have to trace this back and understand your body's back and systems and you have a blood and a sewer system that controls the health and wellness of the cell or not. It's so simple. It's so simple. simple. It's so, so simple. It's simple. unbelievable. Yeah, it's but these people... What you eat, what you think, mm -hmm. what you do, mm -hmm. what you feel, mm -hmm. it's eat. all about us. And I think it's a big clue about the responsibility because what we saw with this woman, this is just someone vomiting. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. all of their gunk onto yeah. someone else. It is. That's it's all it is. It's her own inner hurt. It is. It's her. It is her inner hurt. And the yeah. problem is, you have to be careful because, you know, sometimes when you get too negative, that flips back and comes back yeah. on you. And that's you when know, we get into the spirituality. Of we're course. just exactly because yeah. we're just doing this, honey. Because we're just mapping out for you guys the scientific journey of how things happen on this yeah. planet. You can kick us all you want, and you can live in the surreal world of diseases all you want, mm. but you will live and die in those worlds, and you will never gain happiness or joy or anything else because you've locked your, your ability to grow away. And you don't want to do that because that's your journey now. Yeah. Yeah, I see all these people. We, do you think we don't see suffering worldwide? We're the suffering clinic. Mm -hmm. You just sit here for a day or two, and I grant you, you'll cry for the next week or two. So you have to understand, we're right into the mix of the genetics and everything else, and that's what you have to learn. It's what we teach. What is genetics, Veronica? You tell me the genetics, because we can explain to you what they are. Mm -hmm. So understand what genetics are and what that really means to a cell. And, 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 and we, we put that together yeah. for them in, in level one all the I time. Know. Mm -hmm. And then just for them, for everyone to know that you have the power to change this yourself and it's not that complicated. You know, I think we've been lost in the um, complicated world of 
science and doctors trying to use words mm -hmm. that we can't understand, thinking that they must know so much better than us because they use words that we can't even pronounce. Yeah. And that is the way and of knowing everyone down. Let I me know. tell you, I know yeah. a lot of docs. And yeah. sometimes, you know, if you repeat something long enough, you learn <laughs> how to say it. I mean, you just have to... People, I don't know what, they, they, they created such this surreal world around allopathy. And the problem is, as you know, they're the number one killer of humans on the yeah, planet and the yeah. number one maimer of humans above wars. Yeah. So when, you, when, you're, when you're saying trust in that, and in, in, in a modality that can't yeah. cure anything, that doesn't know, but partly yeah. where, what, what the symptoms are, yeah. and just slap their name on it like George Huntington, yeah. uh, you, you, you got to step back a minute because all these people are suffering because they're believing the same way you are. Mm -hmm. They believe there's no hope, there's mm -hmm. no help, and they're going to mm -hmm. live and die with it. Yep. As long as you live yep. that way, and your life will never be spiritual. You will you'll live always and die with it. Exactly. You will. And I see you, the same thing about Lyme disease. And you'll turn I right around so and revisit many. the planet. Yep. Lyme, Lyme disease, disease is the same way. Again. I have several people right now. They come to me, they have Lyme disease. The story is oh, I got Lyme disease a year ago. I've been one year on antibiotics. <laughs> And uh, now I'm really sick, sicker than ever. Like, okay, there's a clue. Yeah, big clue. What does the antibiotics do? They're killing your kidneys. They're killing the very organs yeah. that you need operating at the highest level to get healthy. Right, Robert? Right. Well, that, that is, falls right into what, what yeah, this, this exactly. person, this is uh, Jose. And he sent this, and he says, check out this new insanity. Chemo is not enough. Now they want to give us antibiotics during the whole process because exactly. they claim they claim that our sweet little bacteria is trying to eat up the chemo so it doesn't hurt the cells, oh. and they don't want the bacteria to eat up the chemo. But I didn't know you had bacteria interstitially. See, they, 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 some of the things they're saying is, uh, what? I, know. I mean, they're just, they're, they're, they're coming up with stuff that's just not science. It's and not people, science. When it's they just, start waking up, they're so much worse off oh than they God. were in the beginning. You don't want to kill, I just did a video on that. You don't yeah. want to kill bacteria. No, that, 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 that's an insect. But people like Veronica, they believe in these things. Yeah. And as long as you guys do, you will suffer until you don't want to suffer anymore. And then you'll go, wait a minute, I'm done suffering. Yeah. I, I, let, me, let me look outside of what I've been yeah. looking at. Maybe someone out there has some information. And you got to realize there's how many souls on this planet right now, and everyone has has primitive information others don't. Yeah, but you there's so many helpers that. out there now with your information. You well, know, yeah, I mean, a lot of people that you can turn to. There's, I mean, I have a YouTube channel. Dr. Morse has hundreds and hundreds of videos out there. There are books out there. There's so much information. Mm. So it's not about that anymore. I it's know. about getting people spiritually awakened to yeah, yeah. the possibility that there's actually some truth out there that I didn't know about. That what I have believed my whole life that has made me suffer, my mother suffer, my sister suffering, my friends are suffering. They are fat, they are sick, they are tired, they are sick and tired of being sick and tired, and they're still holding on to that label, that name that validates their suffering so that they can identify with that and own it. And I'm on a mission saying, you know, the heck with it. Let it go. Cut the crap and say, I am not doing that anymore. I, I think the difficulty comes in. Man has a hard time understanding that it's his food source that's the problem. Mm -hmm. He has a hard time because you have this allopathic community that has made themselves try to smell sweet mm -hmm. and then, <laughs> and, like then and then you've got uh, yeah and then you've got the dietitians and you, you just yeah. got a whole uh, a whole glob of and propaganda. And their professions, we have to remember oh, this, their oh, professions yeah, and their authorities. And, and they went to school. Yeah, exactly. And they studied which made other them authorities. people's books yes. who also had theories and ideas exactly. that just weren't true. Yeah. So it is difficult to understand why food could be the problem at all. Yeah. How, how could food be the problem? The only way you're going to understand any of this mm -hmm. for the Veronica's out mm -hmm. there is to understand, stop, come back to the beginning of chemistry and start exploring that world and its effect upon tissue and fluids. Yeah. Because you have to understand the effect chemistry has upon the fluids and then upon the cell. If you don't understand that, then how would you understand anything? And you just think you're eating everything's good. Yeah. No, 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 no. And I think it's hard to understand if you don't even want to try. That's because true. Though. This that, is that a one's different a big one. type of that's understanding we're talking a, about here. We're talking one. about experiencing and living this because this is our life. This is our experience mm -hmm. and the life what is life about if it isn't about experience it's about experience so if you're not sure that eating fresh fruits and vegetables mainly fruits if you want to heal if you don't think that that is a good thing for you try it if you're eager to know if this is going to help you try it 
I mean, just try it. Go 30 days on fruits and see what happens. You didn't do anything to your body that is going to give you a flu. No, no, no. You're not going to get a stomach ache. You're not going to get worse. You're not going to get all of that. But you know what? The body is still going to give you some signals. It's going to tell you, wow, I can clean now. I can heal now. And you stopped giving me the crap so I can shit for two weeks of plain mucus and... You're going to notice something. Yeah. And that's why I want to get back to all the critics out there. Just get it right back to you. If you're wondering about this, try it. And if you've tried it and been raw for 30 days, no nuts, no seeds, just being raw, plain fruits and vegetables, then we can talk. Because then the discussion is going to be interesting. It is. Well, you know? look at Dr. Oz. I mean, every, it, you, know, you don't have to believe us. Mm -hmm. Humble us, mm -hmm. Dr. Oz. You know, he put uh, well, he took twelve people to the zoo for two weeks or something. They ate like the uh, the zoo mm -hmm. animals, yeah, the primates, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and look what happened to their stats. Right. Yeah. So I mean, it's all out there. Yeah. It's just do you have the eyes to see? Yeah. And when you have belief systems yeah. that are blocking your eyes to see, then that's why what we talk about getting rid of those belief systems. Yeah. And the same thing is with God and understanding of life. Mm -hmm. Get rid of belief systems. These are other people's ideas and theories. Get your own. Yeah. And take yeah. a look yourself at yeah. life. Take a look yourself at take a look at what what life is. Yeah. And, and, and through observation, if you look through the conditioned mind, yeah. then all your thoughts are already conditioned. You have already set yourself up in what you believe in, like Paul Veronica. She set yeah. herself up what she believes in. Yeah. Oh, these are dreaded things. People are dying. Yeah. People are dying of cancer. They are dying. Cancer. That's why they're doing these people things. Die they are dying. Of RA, people die of ALS. People die of MS. And yeah. people are dying of everything, dear one. Yeah, so you need the courage. You need the courage to do. Because that's what I see. T today, we need courage just to break free. Breaking free from anything is hard. So I get it. At least I get it. It's like I, I hear you. It's hard. I've been there too. I mean, okay. everybody's been there. But you need the courage to break free from that. Because if you, it's a simple word that we know. If you want something to change, you need to change something. So why is this opposal towards the simplicity of nature when we are a part of nature? And you, I mean, yeah. you, can go to, you can go to anyone's grave and you know that we're back to dirt. We're back. Our bodies are nothing but the same thing that everything around here is made of. But when you, know? you, when you deal with people, though, that deal with pharmaceuticals and chemicals, their world is different. Yeah. They, they look at nature as something like... Uh, I don't know, something low, foreign. Or something foreign, something yeah. whatever. Have you looked at a hospital? And you just said, and you just said mm. the bottom line here. Mm. Everything is nature. Nature is everything. Yeah. We build our buildings from nature. Yeah. We build, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. I know. That was good though. Them, yes. I know. But it's so okay. true. We, yeah. we, we build everything out of nature. Your yeah. bodies are built out. Everything is built out of nature. So to spit on nature, <laughs> it's not a good that's idea. Disgrace. That's like uh, spitting on God. I it mean, is. It is. Well, it, it is. Though. Yeah. It is. You know, I mean, nature is the way it is. It has mm -hmm. laws. And if you don't understand them, I'd suggest you learn them mm -hmm. because you're a victim of those. We're feeling it. We, we, we have yeah. to live and breathe with that. Every spiritual being has to learn them, too, because that's how they live within these realms. Yeah. Uh, they learn the laws of them and learn how to live mm -hmm. and use those laws and look at the to their good. And look at the the further they go away from nature, they get sick. When we have any animal that we have taken in, giving our diet, they're getting our so-called diseases. They're getting our symptoms. You go uh, into wait, the wild. Well, There's no minute. RA in the wild. Wait a minute. Animals There's get no this. diabetes in the wild. I mean, isn't that crazy? I mean, just to think that. Well, yeah. so what does that tell you? Well, see, what? that's it. Well, you know, there's a vet, an old veterinarian told me one time, you know, you feed your animals off the table, they get the they, same disease as do. we do. Well, yeah. that's, that's true. Yeah. Well, wait a, well wait a minute. That means the food has something. Oh, my God. To, oh, my. No way. Well, it can't the be. Food can't no, it can't be. be. No way, I went no. to the store and I bought it, and they wouldn't sell if it wasn't good for me. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's another one. The government wouldn't, the have, government wouldn't let would, me buy it if it wasn't good exactly. for me. Exactly. You, you wouldn't think have gonna, the meat section. You wouldn't yeah. have the dairy if that wasn't good for you. I mean, this is the problem we have. It's just that we have to turn things around. Yeah. Most of our people do. But once in a while, you'll get someone that writes in. Here's yeah. another one just yeah. to show you. Okay. And I wanted to bring these out just to show okay. you that don't fall into these type of, 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 of limited perceptions because you only hurt yourself. Yeah. Uh, and it's just we are the one living with everything and I'm so glad I'm living with me right now and not 10 years ago thank you you know exactly. thank yeah. you well, heck yeah. <laughs> thank you yeah thank you <laughs> all right so mental health worse after fruit and fasting
Mm -hmm. Mental health worse after fruit or fasting. Yeah. I regret following your information. Mucoid plaque is not real. <coughs> Excuse me. It's psyllium, clay, etc. Well, my dear Matt, I will say this. Yeah. Uh, mucoid plaque is real. Hmm. There are people that don't use psyllium oh, yeah. that are all plaqued up. Yeah. Dr. Jensen never used psyllium. He's all plaqued up. Yeah. Uh, I saw, uh, I've seen so many, even when I saw, I was only like, 20 maybe when mm -hmm. I went into the fruit diet mm -hmm. and I got black plaque out of yeah, me from just doing that just from just the fruit but I, do I didn't see, have herbs or anything yeah I do see and I want people to be yeah. aware of that there are some communities where you just keep on taking the psyllium for like forever yeah and it does come out like a slimy thing and yeah. if you've been drinking you know whatever it's going to color it then you might think you've been getting the psyllium you know the, the mucus plaque out for like years and you yeah. won't yeah. you know this is that might not be the real thing yeah. but it's Surely real for well, those that are not it doing is, the you know, Yeah, I don't. I'm not an over lover of psyllium, but it yeah. it, it is. It, it's kind of it's kind of it's, it's kind of innocent yeah. in itself, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. But you have to understand the plaquing nature of starch. Yeah. yeah. You know, and what it is. Yeah. Gluten is truly a glue. Yeah. And you just have to understand the, uh, the placking nature of starch. If you'll say there's no mucoid plaque, then you'll have to say there's no amyloid plaque. Yeah. And that's from the medical community is the amyloid plaque. So the body plaques up. You have to understand the placking in an acidic medium because we're back to an agglomeration, back to a cationic environment. Mm -hmm. And in that environment, you will get placking. Yeah. And especially when you're a sticky, gluey starch. And the proof of that is easy. Because yeah. anybody that eats starch and breads and stuff like that have and to wipe their butt it, you know. several yeah. times when they poop mm -hmm. because it sticks to your butt. Because it's glue and it sticks. Fruit cleans, vegetables clean as they go through. So yeah. you, there's no residues to your hiney. Yeah. So that's the beautiful thing about uh, uh, mucoid plaque, my dear man. Yes. Uh, but in a way, I agree with him. Yeah. That psyllium and clays can add to that. Over time, if, if you're it looking can. every day for a year and you're eating that, that's yeah. probably what you're I, seeing. Exactly. You know. And I, you know what? So, but there is true mucoid yeah. plaque. This lie has spawned a dangerous group, Master Fast. I am not associated with the Master Fast people, okay? No. We are not uh, full of miles of plaque, or we're full of miles of limp stagnation, we are, my man, and acids, oh yes we are. Our body yeah. is literally full of, and here's a good example of someone that mm. was literally full of acids. Oh yeah. Majorly. Head to toe, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Head to toe, and mm -hmm. you're still working in some places. Yeah, like you know, there are, yeah, there yeah, are some damages that was done mm -hmm. to the joint, which takes the longest time. I'm mean, not, look where yeah. you were and where you are This now. is a lifestyle. Someone have to see you. This is you. a lifestyle, it man. Is. I'm just, this is just but, living. Uh, did anybody see you before, where you no, were? No, I don't think so. See, to see know. you now, yeah. see Hildy now. I was too sick. And to see the way, she, the first, I, I've said this many times, but our first Skype was in bed, remember yeah, that? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> came right into my bedroom. Yeah, came right into your bedroom. Raw food is theory, not fact. Oh, really? I mean, this is a sort of Again, mind that can't... You're questioning nature and God here. And, yeah, and really... I mean, it doesn't understand really? ma magnetics and doesn't really? understand uh, uh, but physics. But logic. Yeah. What about uh, logic? Uh, were, were you born logic. with a... Were oh, you up your thank you for that word. Logic. I was searching for the logic. word. Oh, thank you for the word. Is there, is, is there, is there logic. a logic There's here? another word we use in Indiana. Do you go into Common nature sense. looking for a cooker? Is there like... <laughs> Is there any, I mean... I know! It is just irra illogical what are to we? think. I mean, we... Exactly. We might be avatars. I, I don't know, but... Maybe. As long it, as... It is totally illogical to yeah. think that cooked food is better for you than the living counterpart. What, that is... What would cooking anything add illogical. to it? What, what would that bring in? Exactly. If you what cook something, that? what would you put in there? What would you add? What would be added? Well, what does heat do to a mixture? What does heat do? It creates agglomeration. So what yeah. you have when you cook living food yeah. is you lose your water soluble. The chemistry That's your B, always. So you lose your B vitamins, you yeah. lose your C's or your flavonoids. Anything water soluble when you cook is gone. Yeah. And then your oils. What happens when you cook oils? They saturate. Yeah. They bond. They can become cationic, agglomerated. Uh, and this is what happens. And you think that's better than raw? I've even See, seen... See, this is the problem. Yeah, I've heard people say that even the, the, the white blood count goes up in the body right after eating cooked food. Oh. The body goes right in Oh, it does. Into an immune response. Yes. Absolutely does. It is trying to get rid of what the no, heck you put in there that doesn't belong in there. Yeah. Some of it then can become free radicals. Yeah. You know, a lot of chemistry people consume. Like a lot and of... And then you, you fry the meat and everything. You put that in there? Well, even 
ortho molecular supplementation. Yeah. You know, you can take calcium and then it can actually become a free radical yeah. in you. So you have to be real careful yeah. what you think all and how you do. Oh, yeah. You know, these people Isolating. jump us and we lay out all the facts of yeah. science and chemistry. But this person is but not they, really talking just about you. So no, about no, no, I know. Doing this I know. Other oh no, thing. I get that. Yeah, yeah. But we are adapted for cooked. Exactly. Are we? That's Take logic. a look around and adapted. How, you know what? How are we adapted? This is Could Troy. it be all the diseases maybe that, that shows but us that is, we're adapted? But this is Troy, and I don't think Troy has an understanding of how many people on this planet are truly suffering. But Troy, does he from understand eating, how many, how from, many is from healing a, from, from what you're doing? No, they're, they're, how many people are suffering from adapting to, raw, to yeah, cook exactly. food? Yeah, exactly. So that's what the Nobody, adapting Nobody, you means. do not adapt to cook food. Pema said to me how the human body's adapted to all this cooked food and stuff years ago, and I said, oh, yeah. really? Okay. Take a look at the Take suffering Take a look at what we're, man. exactly. And um, another thing, this body is an ongoing machine. I mean, it's made to heal itself. It's made to regenerate. Just totally. look at all the cells. Totally. So we're made to live, what, 60, 70 years now in pain and this. misery? Chronic a fatigue and, and anxiety is not a weak adrenals. Yeah. Oh, really? Exactly. This guy sounds like he's been practicing and helping the world for almost 50 years, mm -hmm. coming out of everything. Sounds yeah. like he's real smart. I never see. It's insulting to uh, CFS and anxiety. Is it really? Well, I think. Well, this, how can information be insulting? That's I know. Another thing. You know, speaking, th th these people are insulting. What you see is them. true. They you want see, to insult. Them. See, that's yeah, what they so want. We to should, do. We anxiety we deals with fight or flight response in brain. Yeah. And brain? Yeah. Your, mo your brain has nothing to do with emotions. No. Your mind has nothing to do with emotions. It is hooked to the mind. Yeah. It has nothing to well, do. Well, we've learned that, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you go to psychiatry, Many people are starving in fear, brain. hoping they are removing toxins. Thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, that I think you're, Troy, I think you're Keltering yeah. off a little bit here. I think you need to really look at that. Yeah. We've had uh, a, a lot of years of working with humans, and successes are yeah. out the roof. Yeah. So, so, you know, you're beating us up for no reason. Tell us a few about the success of it. Just look right, right off your bat. Oh, like, I, you know, just like a couple I, of. Oh, doesn't even it. have to be like well, what. People are seeing that on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, like and what have you. Else. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're. Our successes are unbelievable. Yeah. You know, I, I would say that anything that's not a um, a uh, advanced stage four cancer, yeah. we're probably up in the 90s for sure. Yeah. yeah even but with that's that, the, you're up that, in the that's yeah. with compliance. Yeah. You know, I've never seen anybody with anything much that couldn't get it if they stayed with it and focused on it. Yeah. I don't care what it is. So meaning not a disease, but meaning, at, you know, if, well, if it's very severe as it does, is, you know, the more chronic, the longer standing, the more, you know, of course, it's going to be tougher because... But it also deals with what you're trying to say this whole video, yeah. is that the individual has to understand the truth and be aligned with the truth. Because yeah. like that ALS uh, lady that couldn't yeah. sing or talk anymore yeah. and couldn't walk, she was hell-bent on walking and talking. Yeah. And with the help of chemistry and yeah. physics, yeah. she was able to do that. Yeah. And, 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 that and, and, and that's a very advanced case. You're talking about cases that are not advanced at all and you're dumping on us. Yeah. And we're talking about extreme cases. And she was able to do it. Why? Because she did it. Because she did it. She because was, she actually she did, did it. Exactly. I mean, that's... She was exactly. brave to do it. And when she was doing it, she was saying, I'm not going to get well. I'm not going to get, I'll eat this fruit, but I'm not going to get well. No. She said, I'm going to get well. I'm going to get yeah. well. I'm going to make myself, I understand because we explained to you why. She's talking to and herself. She, exactly. And, and you know, would, and that's another thing. Everything you say, your cells are listening. Same thing. You're eating the fruit of the highest frequency, the, the highest electricity. You know, everything that your cell needs is a high vibration. But your thoughts, they have different vibrations as well. And if you're telling yourself you cannot be healthy, guess what? There's a big chance you're not going to be. Yeah. Exactly. You know, your cells, they, they believe you. They believe everything we say. They believe everything we feel. <laughs> you know, they believe it. The yeah, cells, but you've got, you got cells looking at, oh, God, here we go. Protein again. Oh, God. I know. Ow, ow. Know. You know, really. We just... And that's down to the plane of, you know, I, and I would, I would swear to this that even if you gave someone something and they said, I don't believe in this, if you put the, the most critical critic, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. with just coconut water, oranges oh, and mangoes yeah. Yeah. for a month, something would happen even though you didn't believe it, you didn't want it. Because then you're yeah, going into the law by of themselves something else. That. Yeah, it yeah. won't take them long to change though yeah. because you start feeling better and better. It's very noticeable. I know. You start feeling better and, then and better. then you believe it when oh, you then, see oh, it. Oh yeah, because you start feeling it. Yeah. This isn't something you have to believe in. We want you to try. Yeah. At least say it. Try it to feel it. Yeah. Try it to understand it. Try it to know it. Understand yeah. what we're talking yeah. about in terms of the cells Instead and the Instead of plugs. spitting out the negativity. Instead of going after that. I mean, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Exactly. If it's for you, try it. But don't do or don't 
Yeah. Don't ban anything or speak about something you don't know. Because it only makes you guys look bad because okay. we stand on the yeah. pillars of truth yeah. days. It only yeah. makes you guys look bad like Veronica when you nail into that. You don't think we, we understand Huntington or any yeah. genetics? We're into genetic remembering of cells, if you even know what that means. And so I'm heavy into genetics, but I'm heavy into consciousness and how creation is created. And you have to understand a little of that if you really want to get expanded and understand how genetics yeah. happens and cells and consciousness and the mind and how that impacts the body. I mean, you just... So how big do you see that connection being, the spiritual one? What, what do you... What are your thoughts about that? How, that how large is that connection for a person when you meet people? How, how much does that spirituality or connection with self or, you know, soul level has well, to do with their path? Well, I mean, when I meet people, yeah. I, can, I can see where they are. Yeah. So you can see what they've got to work through to get yeah. where they might want to go. Mm -hmm. And you can tell whether someone's going to make it this lifetime at a certain level or not. Yeah, I mean, I as a you rule, can. you know, you yeah. can... You can you can tell what's holding them back and that sort of thing, and just so we're talking you know, you about just, you just try to work karma, and break those. We're talking about old, you know. Yeah, but all these old thought forms, it's hard for people to break down because these are thought forms. Like even with Veronica, these are yeah. thought forms that she's made opinions about due to what she's observing exactly. and the suffering of others, and I get that. And what she can perceive from what she knows. But you you're, know? you're you're looking at this in a very. Um, a very restricted view of yourself mm -hmm. because you're looking at a modality that is controlling your attention. When you pull up, you'll see that the world is full of healers. We've got tons of healers on this mm -hmm. site that have healed so much stuff you can't even believe it. And uh, it would be not nice to insult them because they've worked hard to become healers and have mm -hmm. helping people all over the world. So, you know, uh, I don't know. My message is if, 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 it, if it's not for you, fine. We don't care. Yeah. We don't care. And that could, that could feel, you know, harsh mm -hmm. for many. But because if, that's you, spread, if yeah. you spread uh, uh, stupidity and anger, you're only hurting yourself. Yeah. You're not going to hurt me or us. We don't care. There's not, not, we, no help is going to come We're guided already. We, yeah. don't, we don't care. We're only here to help. That, that's all we're here to help do. Uh, we're not here to force anybody to do anything or guide someone down the road to Hellville. We're, we're to pull you out of Hellville, guys. Yeah. That's what our forte is. Yeah. And we will always have that. Yeah. So, I hope these guys find them. But any of you guys dealing with Huntington's, you never want to follow Veronica or you'll never go anywhere. You don't you, want to follow that thought mm, form no matter no, where you are in your mm, health. You know, you And even if you're feeling pretty healthy, you have to you have to understand everything you're eating is still affecting you on some level. Because I see people, you know, some can go farther with what they have just because they have stronger yeah. um, constitution oh, yeah. to begin with. You know, they have less uh, weaknesses in their body. So they can go longer. Absolutely. It doesn't mean that... It's See, healthy. It doesn't mean that it's any people better. People don't understand that, though. Yeah. They don't understand what good genes means, no. what you're talking about. Okay, here. okay. So let's talk about that. Yeah. What does that mean, good yeah. genes? You know? Talking about genetics. Yeah. You know, every, thinking about every cell in your body is a genetic cell, yeah. but genetics always doesn't mean weaknesses. Hmm. I do tons of virus analysis, mm -hmm. and I'm doing them audio now, yeah. so I'm talking to you about yeah. it. And uh, genetics can mean strengths, and there's yeah. a lot of strong genes oh, out yeah. there. Absolutely. Exactly. That's what I'm, I get really yeah. eager. Just because you have one that. part of the body involved. Yeah. Just, just like we're talking, I did a video on cancer the other yeah. day, just to let them know that when you have cells, a, a tumor's wrapped around, those cells are, and they're, how superficial yeah. this is. Yeah. We're going to biopsy a tumor to see yeah. if there's any oh. cancer cells in it. I, I, I mean, let me just think this thing. If you have a tumor wrapped around interstitial cells, you can kiss those goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to biopsy and take one of those cells yeah. to see if it's cancer or not. It's yeah. like, how idiocy is that? Mm -hmm. The body's isolated all this acid sludge in this tumor mm -hmm. uh, to protect Protects. the surrounding yes. tissues, yes. and we go in and invade that. I mean, yeah. that is stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah. It, it, this is, and the thought that it's going to spread. I know. Oh, you know, I mean, the, the idiocy around this whole concept of cancer yeah. is beyond belief, and you don't want to fall into that. I know. You want to understand what does cause atrophy of a cell. When you're talking of cancer, you're talking atrophy of a cell. Yeah. It doesn't matter what name you want to get it. Huntington cancer, call it that if you I want. Know, same thing. Doesn't matter where the location, location. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. What causes atrophy of a cell? Yeah. Just sitting yeah. there, oh, yeah. I think I'll just atrophy. Yeah. Uh, you know. yeah. Come on. Yeah. You it's have to have burning. influences. You, exactly. Yeah. It's burning hot. Hello. Yeah. So you have to trace it back. What side of chemistry yeah. does what? What each yeah. side of chemistry do? What 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 what's around a cell anyway? Fluids. Okay. What type of fluids are around a cell? What type of chemistry is around a cell? You have to look at all of that to understand what we're saying. And if you don't, then you're just going by 
your what, what, uh, concept and you just made up out of your head. I don't believe in them. You know, the it's basic, not true. The basic concept of having kidneys that filters, people don't know this. And they that has been your biggest. Like we're talking the kidneys, adrenals, and lymph. Those are Got the to. three words that three people words. know most from you. Three words. You know, it's I the know lymph, that. it's the kidneys, and it's the adrenals. And once you see those kidneys start filtering, once you see those particles in your difference. urine, once you see that smoggy, cloudy, whatever, it's not, you know, that's the opposite you're of clear. The you're on the road. You're actually taking out the plug. You're actually draining out all those acids. Mm -hmm. And you know, when, when people talk about acids, they, they think maybe, oh, it's an acid. But we're talking about, you know, everything from parasites, heavy metals, mucus, everything that's on that side of the chemistry, mm -hmm. everything else that's on the decaying side mm -hmm. could mm -hmm. be labeled, oh, it's yep. acidic. Yeah, you know? even ingested chemistry of yeah. uh, it's not yeah. in say food sources. No. It's like neon drinks and, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and candy bars and, and drugs and, and, drugs and all, yeah, yeah. all of this oh. stuff. That's the toxins. Yeah. Most of the toxins people refer to is really just cellular metabolitic waste. Yeah. Yeah. But we do have neurotoxins, cytotoxins. We do consume and breathe all this crap. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But your body is designed to get this out of here. Exactly. Yep. So what happens if your kidney's not filtering? Then exactly. you're going to get sick just from getting up in the morning. But it's just from breathing. You're creating metabolic waste. You're creating acid. So if you're stuck with everything, then the longer you live, the more acidic you're going to be, yep. even if you're not doing, you know, much harm to yourself. If those kidneys are not filtering from the get-go, then trouble. you're just going to pile up, pile up, pile, pile up, up, and pile, pile up. up. And there's no yeah. getting well. You can treat You can treat a tumor any way you want. You yeah. can black sab it. You can chemo yeah. it. You can radiate it. You can do anything you want. But you're never going to be successful. No, you're not going to you might the burn it away, yeah. but then you wait for the blowback. Yeah. And the blowback, when you burn a tumor away like that with radiation, the blowback to your body is unreal. You've just burnt everything around that area, and now that'll become your neck because that yeah. just decayed the cells around there. Yeah. You just burnt the hell out of the cells around there. What philosophy is that? that's a viable philosophy about doing something like that. What what kind of philosophy comes in Burning here? Burning acids with acids? Yeah. Like what, taking the, out acids exactly. with more acids? We're going to treat your acid condition yeah. with Not a getting to the cause at all. That's criminal. So where, where yeah. does that come into play? No one's yeah. listening. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah. You have logic. to really understand to what's go going on here. Yeah. That's why we get you into pH understanding, mm -hmm. chemistry, un basic chemistry understanding, basic physics, energetics, magnetics, duality. Because just understanding the basics of these two sciences helps you to put all the puzzle together. Yeah. You know, and then you just try the species it. you are, yeah. uh, the types of food for your species. All this we've tried to lay out. I tried two years methodically mm -hmm. lay it out with the and teeth pictures, with the limbs. Very well, you so have. I tried. You have. So it goes. So you guys can have. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we're primates. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're primates. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And but you can try this too. I mean, if you have kidneys that are not filtering, and if you work on that from doing fruits and herbs and maybe some dry fasting, and then you start filtering, and then you feel how you're feeling. Isn't that, wouldn't that be cool to just do it as an experiment? That's why I'm, I'm, I want Even this challenge it, out there, you know, people just to try it just and try see it. for exactly. themselves. Just, that, just do that. Yeah, let's Veronica, just do that. Just take two weeks and try it on raw yeah. or a month, like yeah. Ellie says. Yeah. But think about this, and I, 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 there are only two types, I mean, you can keep bringing this down to simplicity. Yeah. Okay? There are basically only two types of foods. Yeah. Acid ash forming foods yeah. and alkaline yeah. ash forming foods. There's the only two types. You can bring this all down, no matter what it is, only, you can bring yeah. it all down. If you're eating acid ash, meaning that the ash from what you're breaking down is acidic, that's the bump to the body. Mm -hmm. Your body is not an acid ash body. Your body is an alkaline dominant body. So the acid ash first hits the blood. Mm -hmm. Now you got a problem because the blood is alkaline. So that invokes not just the bicarbonate medical doctors, it invokes the calcium buffering system. Yeah. And you can so see that through varicose veins, that, yeah, yep. spider veins, petechia, mm -hmm. aneurysms. Yep. You can see that any connective tissue prolapses, yeah. and the bones. herniations, and bones. Bones, you, you know about that. The and, bone, you know, people, oh, yeah, yeah, all over the place. Sucks it right out of you. Yeah. Because that's what uh, that's that's the natural mm -hmm. ebb and tide of chemistry. Yeah. And you've got to understand that. And so, man, I'm all ver I just did a video. And this is chemistry. This is not like pseudo. This is. This is what you know, it is. Yeah. Truth. Yeah. You yeah. Know, and we tried to back that up reading scientific papers. Pat was in here, and we were yeah, reading, we I went know. over this calcium yeah. buffering system. Yeah. We went over that, so they understand yeah. it isn't just coming from wa. It's no. coming from 
very reputable university. I said this before, a lot of universities are coming out with great research that medical doctors are boohooing. Yeah. They're boohooing their own group. But we're not even seeing that. There's another example. What is a doctor that puts people on dia dialysis? What is the first thing that he tells his patient? Cut out the protein. Even he will get somewhere yeah. around that. Yeah. There, is the, there is an understanding there that what the Just, protein so, does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the you just have thing. to understand what's acid ash and what's yeah. alkaline ash. If you eat an alkaline ash diet, you're gonna you always feel good. I mean, I'm saying if you even didn't detoxify mm -hmm. and you just shifted your diet to yeah. an alkaline ash yeah. diet. If you're already okay and it was you're just gonna, gonna see go better. your body slowly hydrate, yeah. slowly eliminate, probably into cold and flu like symptoms while your body's trying to yeah. expectorate the mucus and all this stuff that you put in there and work it that way. And more energy and, and more, more energy and, and all of this more endurance other stuff. and everything. Oh, let me tell you. Youth. <laughs> in a sense. And especially if in the alkaline ash food is yeah. living. Yes, especially. You know, a live high con high water content. High water content. Yeah. Well, high water content yes. food, absolutely. Yes. Yes. And that's the thing. I really, when you think about that, I don't go for much of the non-high water content. Mm -hmm. Bananas, okay, mm -hmm. I like them, but they're okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'd rather have them with one of these strawberry bars. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, anything like a navel orange versus yeah. a banana, I'm oh. going to go to the navel orange. Yeah. I'm going to go to the name orange grapes. Yeah. Anything that has some, some water to it is yeah. definitely better yeah. for detoxing and yeah. I think better for the, yeah. the main mix. So I don't know how well I do for some of those fruits. Yeah, and the same thing with the vegetables. As long as you go raw like this, you know, you, the body's going to want more and less and less of the greens. Yeah, they want less well, that, less it will. Greens. I mean, yeah. it's factual too. When yeah. you start eating more and more fruit, and your body gets used to the ease of digestion, oh, the, yeah. the added energy, <laughs> and then, uh, the clean. I mean, yeah. and then and when you go back to salads, it's like, okay, I know. All right, yeah. um, I can, but it's that you lose the love of that, and you mm -hmm. go into your fruits, and then yeah. you go because that's where the flavors are. Yeah. That's I mean, when you get them right, pick grown properly, picked ripe and organic, yeah. the flavors need to send your hair straight up. Yeah. Woo -hoo! I know. You know, and that's you're really excited about food. Did you see the watermelon I showed them the other day? Did you no. see that watermelon? Oh my god. Look at that Is watermelon. And no one sent me that watermelon. Oh Look god. at the size. And that was in Texas. Someone they had to come a with a truck. Fruit stand. <laughs> at a yeah. fruit stand, they had a watermelon the size of, a, of about a 12 yeah. year old yeah. kid. That is goodness. My I mean, just God. Look at the children. That's what they want. That's what we, they want. We could put our attention on growing food. Yeah. We yeah. could have just one bite could throw us in the What about Carolina. every park? What about every park in the world? If, instead of, you know, just to plant fruit trees. How would that? How amazing would that be? Oh, it'd be amazing. I mean, free food for everyone. Really amazing. You ever heard of Pythagoras? Everybody's yeah, heard of Pythagoras, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He had a spiritual group he called the Blue Hand Group. Mm. And they claimed with one strum of his musical instrument mm. could throw his chilas into ecstasy. Oh my. So, you know, all this stuff is cool stuff. Yeah. Energy, vibration, yeah. consciousness. But you're talking about health. the highest feel, like that's what you're saying, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, from one simple thing, the human body, I mean, we have so much emotions that we can feel and go into. And the more strict you are from all the poisons and all the toxins, the more alkaline you'll get, the more in touch with the emotions or feelings you'll get, and you will feel everything more. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. you'll be excited about the little things that you're supposed to be excited about. Mm -hmm. A flower, um, a bird, an orange. Just happy to breathe. A friend. A friend. You know. Or just look around yeah. and see who created all this. How could you create a body that does all this? How could you create plants that does that? You, I mean, it's like I was in contemplation last night. And I was just way out there. And it's just like I could just, it's just unfathomable when you look over, over creation. Just how could any, I, I mean, it's just a watermelon. Yeah. It's a watermelon. How can you grow it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> watermelon? I, oh, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, I know it's unbelievable. I mean, the creation, the way that it is. It we're is. sitting here and we're kind of arguing about little crazy things like well, we making ourselves say, sick from chemistry and and pharmaceuticals and from laboratories and. We just, we just, we've had faith in the wrong things. We <laughs> and we're discussing this in. even. Exactly. We're discussing what to eat. We're discussing what to eat. That's very disturbing. We're, we're like little fish it's in the disturbing. ocean, where the medical doctors <laughs> hooked us. Yeah. And now we're caught. And people are, are caught with the hook yeah. under the medical line. It's like you got to break free, yeah. or it could be your demise. Yeah, and you because, see the young people getting better. Yeah, I mean, because here's mm. the people suffering with Huntington's and all these mm. things. They're going medical. There's no cure. There's nothing. Wouldn't you, if you had a little bit of spirituality, go? Mm. You know what? I'm just going to die here. 
I'm not going to follow this same way. I, I, I want to look around yeah. and see if somebody out there is getting results. That's a more spiritual aware person. When you sit there and say, well, I guess I'm going to die. I'm just going to die. You'll be back. And when you finally learn in your journey, not just this lifetime, but mm -hmm. when you finally learn, you will see that then you will take your next step higher. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about. Letting go of what you think you know mm -hmm. for what truth really is. Yeah. And that's hard because that means you have to get beyond your mind. And here's another thing the mind has been doing with the truth for us, I think, because people speak they say everyone has their own truth. Like truth has become something very yeah, not ridiculous. tangible anymore. Exactly. Like like there's not one truth. Well, you know what? I'm not so sure about that. Well, you know, it, there is. It's at the level. Yeah. It, it's leveled. Yeah. Now you have some spiritual people that think positive thinking can create everything new for you in your new life and mm -hmm. everything else. Mm -hmm. And so you have different people believing different ways that you think and different mm -hmm. ways that you conduct yourself that yeah. you'll have different experiences, yeah. which is true which in is certain true. ways. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you will. And if you don't believe that you could ever get healthy, then you're probably going to not believe that you should eat all the fruit. So you will manifest what you exactly. thought was right, you know. But you have to understand, and I did a, a fairly long spiritual video here a couple of videos yeah, ago yeah. about that. because. Yeah. You're your own driver, and you've created everything in your world, whether yeah. you can understand that or not. Yeah. Everything you're experiencing, you drove your car to, oh, and on all know. levels. Mm -hmm. And you just, when we realize that we are consciousness experiencing the levels of the mind, the, the emotional body, and now we're looking through the physical body. Like I said, none of you are here. <laughs> you only think you're here. You are you are in consciousness. You're only looking through the windows of your bodies to see what those bodies are experiencing. And you're guiding that. Your consciousness is turning on the light switch to the mind, your emotions, your physical body. Mm -hmm. You take your attention off of your body and you turn off your switch mm -hmm. and you're done. Yeah. You're going to go somewhere else because it's your attention that's trapped. And it's just like running on these people. Their attention is trapped here. Mm -hmm. Let it go, loosen it up, and the world of truth will come in and introduce you to much higher levels of understanding. And that's why I think your teaching is so unique because now, when we know that we're so brain trapped and we're so trapped in so many belief systems yeah. and, you know, even thinking that we're our body, yeah. just switching your diet into what you were naturally oh. born to eat, you will change just from doing that. Your whole Awakening will start. Your 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 perception of self will change, you know. So this, just from doing yeah. that, that's why I say mm -hmm. to people, mm -hmm. just try mm -hmm. it. It's mm -hmm. almost like a tricky thing because you know that something will start changing within them. Well, get this statement. I'm gonna make this statement. Okay. If you feel your physical body, you're too acidic. Exactly. There you go. This is a good one. If yeah. you feel your physical body, you're too acidic. Yeah. And when you get up there into these high levels of energy and vibration and chemistry yeah. and your body and you're removing these obstructions and the flow of blood, nerve and lymph are starting to increase and there's no obstructions. There's no acids, there's none of this inflammatory processes involved. You will connect to a level you just can't believe in. It's just, it's hard to understand because your body no longer dominates your attention because it feels bad. It is like a machine you don't even know you're using. It's like right now, very few people know they're using their astral body listening to me right now mm -hmm. or their mental bodies because mm -hmm. they're that subtle. Mm -hmm. You know when you shift from your 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 thinking to your emotional thinking? Do you, do you know when you shift through your bodies when you're using them? No, you don't. Because it's like it's like I this Ford F-150 mm -hmm. and it's got a 10 speed in it. Mm -hmm. You can't hardly tell when you're shifting through yeah. the gears. Yeah. It says, I'm going, oh, I'm in yeah. six, seven, eight, what? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, what? That, God made this so slick. It doesn't even know it's lost itself. Yeah. You know, until you it know you're to, stuck in your physical mm -hmm. when your life is about pain, exactly. right? Exactly. And about suffering. That means you went the wrong way. When you yeah. have pain in your world, you're going down the wrong road. Yeah. You are. Not Not the road is wrong. You're going down the wrong road. And that's what medical doctors are trying to blame things outside of the self. As long as you do that, you will always suffer. Yeah. But as soon as you accept the self and that you're driving your car and that you're going to learn and change and, 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 yeah. and, and 
your whole world will change. And, cool. and it is the clue that what we were talking about, the body too, it is the taking responsibility. It's, it's actually realizing that it is all about you. It's all about us. It's all about me. It's all about him. It's all about every one of us. Mm -hmm. Our world is all about us. There's, there's no one else that it's about. It isn't about the mother or the father or the sister or the brother or people at work that are this and that. And we're just trying to put blame and we're sabotaging yeah. ourselves yeah. and we're in this mental mess that we can just start unraveling and untangling from just from changing our diet and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that is a miracle that in itself is so goddamn beautiful that just going on at that as if it is something that is going to hurt us that's where I think it's really sad we just need to step up and take that responsibility well you know like a lot of people close it like Veronica here and Troy they close the door on their ability to see and grow because they they automatically think how can this be they never listen to the videos enough to learn what we're talking about to trace out why are we saying these things yeah. you think we're just saying these things because we we want to hurt people or we want to tear people yeah. down yeah we're healers yeah uh, yeah but you get locked in those things and you just uh, yeah. and you just you have to you have to realize that don't lock anything away. Mm -hmm. Keep your awareness up because someone always has an answer for you. Yeah. There is someone there for you always with the answer for you if you're there to listen. These spiritual beings, a lot of people now are getting visited by, this, by the yeah. masters and stuff. Yeah. And that's the next phase here for you guys. And just to realize how huge you are yourself. I mean, just to realize your strength. Exactly. I mean, I think most people fear their own strength. They fear. They do. Yeah. They don't understand it. Yeah. They you know? fear it because it's mm -hmm. so grand. I mean, you can blow your own world. Well, you know, people grab your attention and control it. Societies yeah. control it. Yeah. Religions control it. Religions yeah. mold your Authority thinking. So thinking. you'll kill others because yeah. they don't believe the same way you do in God, or you're an infidel, or you're whatever. Religion. And yet we all come yeah. from the same source. Yeah. So religions have their serious downfalls yeah. and have, have created to endless wars on yeah. this planet. Separation. Separations. Authority and stuff like, thinking. Exactly. Fear-based, you know. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to not grab a hold of your religion so hard and grab a hold of yourself a little yeah. harder because you're here as the vehicle of God. Why were you created in the first place mm -hmm. and who you were created for? Mm -hmm. so you have to realize you're, you're created out of the divine to experience life. And we, we, we develop this, this, this negative socialistic thinking mm -hmm. where everybody huddles together, dresses the same, thinks the same. Yeah. Do you think that's like, God? what do you want to experience? Exactly. Same thing. exactly. What do you want to experience? Exactly. Do you want to experience this? Or do you want to experience this? Do you want to experience the yes or the no? Do you want the acid? Do you want the alkaline? Do you want day, night? I mean, everything. Is, uh, it's a, it's a marketplace. You can you choose. Said. It's a marketplace. Yeah. But you have to. You have to. You have to do the work. You, ha you have to step up and actually do it. You can't just sit there and say, "Yeah, I want this." But then I don't oh, want to yeah. do what's need to be done. I, I want to be healthy, but I don't want to eat just grapes or I get hungry or this is too sweet for me or this and that and this and that. I mean, we're suffering. Yeah, yeah, we are. We need to do it's what like needs the, to be done. It's like this gentleman here, Troy, who said uh, mental health, something about mental health and fruits yeah. made it worse. Yeah. When you're, when you're on, a, on a fruit and a detoxifying program and you're having problems, call into the clinic because yeah. we, we're the ones with the experience going through this. Uh, by now, Attila and Marcy is so experienced up, it's not even funny. Yeah. Those guys, are their whole attitudes are like loaded with bear. They're yeah. pulling people out of these deep, dark crevices of darkness. So, uh, you know, get help when, you, when you're going through this and you don't understand it or you feel like fruit's making you worse for some reason. You know, try to get some, some guided help. Yeah. Instead of sitting there saying, it doesn't work for me, that's not a good. Get some guided help, and, and that'll be helpful. There are some radical groups out there, like, and I agree with them. Like this one group, the uh, uh, Master Fast. I I have said many times, you will always find that in this world, and I can't say it's negative because there will always be someone like McFadden who pushes the envelope of how you break fasting, and of course he killed himself breaking fasting on boiled potatoes. Well, but you're always going to have those people that are pushing the envelope. But there's a reason for that. But some people need to see how far out you can take this. Yeah. They are actually doing research, and yes, yeah, some people. You know, it might you get know some stuff. people might need to be, you know, extreme mm -hmm. at you know time because they're extremely ill. But what I see with my clients is that sustainability is very important. Mm -hmm. You need to 
change up something that you yeah. can actually keep on doing because yeah. for a lot of people it's going to take time you're not going to reverse mm -hmm. a serious as a condition in your body in three weeks in, th in three months even you know you have to keep going this is yeah. this is a lifestyle change mm -hmm. you, you, this is not just for the healing you don't want this to come back to you you want to keep on going being the best version of you that you can be this is the way of honoring God and creation being the best that you can be a lot of people don't feel that way for some reason you know yeah. I know a lot of people are unhappy and depressed but look how sick they are you know when you're you're talking about uh, chronic fatigue syndrome and you're talking about eating cooked foods, Troy, yeah. Troy, yeah. man, yeah. living foods are full of energy. Yeah. It is proven that when you cook food, you dissipate the electromagnetic energy. So just your very statement here in relationship to your other statement about chronic fatigue syndrome, just eating cooked foods is innervating. Yeah. So Forget about the adrenals and neurotransmitters, which is your energy sources, Troy. Uh, think about you're eating cooked food, which has no electricity in it, and bitching about having no energy. Yeah. Now, this is the sort of thing we have to get out there, is that raw foods are invigorating. It's just food. He has the same uh, attitude as some of these uh, macrobiotic people, and, and the thing is, you know, we had a, a clinic in, in Lisbon for yeah. a, a few years, and, and we always did the... the, the um, yearly they would have these symposiums mm. every year mm. and of course I represented the mm. United States yeah. and we had people representing every country at nice. these symposiums yeah, absolutely yeah, nice. but when you saw these top macrobiotic uh, 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 professors and teachers mm. they look gray they didn't have life their skin didn't have vibrancy no. and, and I'm looking at them and of course when they gave up and talked the room was only half full when mm. I got up and took everybody came in from everywhere because mm. people want to know truth they want to understand vibrancy and healing and the very things you're talking about yeah. they want to feel good they want to get That's their lives all back. we want really I mean you can talk to everyone that I talk to and the bottom line is this I just want to feel good I just want to go get out of this pain that I'm in not only the pain and suffering but the fear of dying like this exactly. because that's what we see around us so it's like help me help me yes you got to invigorate yourself yeah well how do you invigorate yourself mm. on dead tissue mm. milks which you should have been weaned way back and especially yeah. pasteurized Cows, milks yeah. which is up close to I'm telling them, close to plastic in its yeah. chemistry yeah. I mean lethicin margarine yeah. uh, pasteurized uh, ultra pasteurized milk you're getting up in there where you're near the plastic uh, levels and it's like uh, and I think I think the lethicin is only two steps that. away from plastic or something yeah. I mean yeah. whoa and gluten. they use it in, in I think tar, I used car to, tires you know, I used to sell it in the health food stores and I yeah. used to take it for cholesterol plaquing yeah. it's like See? what yeah. I mean it, these are the some of the indices of things like stool implantation sorry and all the bizarre it's crap the same out mindset there mindset of you know the vitamins and the minerals and everything same from mindset. a bottle it's the same, same mindset. mindset we just switched a little we bit want to treat. a lot of the same people running the same we've got these dreaded diseases and we need yeah. to treat them yeah we have a different take yeah a totally different we're going back take. to nature we're just eating mm -hmm. food made for man Absolutely, but you have to realize all the food, it's just like burning dirty fuel in a motor. Yeah. You burn the wrong fuel in a car yeah. motor, you're going to soot it up. Yeah. And this is the problem. You're going to see the smoke. You're going to see the smoke. <laughs> so you want clean burning fuel, and a lot of fuel man's burning is dirty fuel. And those mm -hmm. are the acid ash mm -hmm. forming foods. They leave dirty fuel. Yeah. Your acid bump. Well, when you leave acid residues, you now are creating an immune response called inflammation yeah. and part of that is either your calcium buffering system or your cholesterol yeah. buffering system yeah. not just the interleukins and the histamines mm -hmm. you got the other side of this the worst side that is the leaching of calcium to fight systemic acidosis and cholesterol plaquing this is why you see all the circulatory problems that you see the stenosis and you see the depression exactly yeah, and when you understand all this and you turn it around, it's everybody fixes themselves. Yeah. Veronica and Troy, join the joy. Get and rid I had no of energy. I couldn't even go to the mailbox. Join the world so of energy. Anxious. Yeah. I wouldn't have either. If I sat yeah. here and had cooked food, I wouldn't eat Indian every yeah. day. Yeah. My love. Mm -mm. I only do it once a week mm -hmm. and sometimes not that. And then you feel it. You know, then you feel it. Yeah. Because I'm used to living. But you're living with your choice then. You're able you to are, feel it. So you can make choice. a calculated your choice. Your taste buds are going yummy, yeah, yummy, yeah, yummy, yeah, while your yeah. tummy's going, oh it's, my yeah. God. And if, you think, if you think it's worth it, then it's worth it. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, people have to make up their mind about what they want to do with their body. You and know, just okay. know that you can change and you can feel better. But what you do once in a while isn't, isn't the issue. No. Every day, day in and day out, what are you putting down the tubes? Yeah. 
I yeah, always say, it's not about what you do between Christmas and New Year's. It's what you do between New Year's and Christmas. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 This is, you know. Okay. It's a good it's a good thing. People yeah. need to learn and there are people yeah. that they get so uh, lost in some of these yeah. things and they don't believe in things and I, I agree there's a yeah. lot of this treatment based consciousness out there and I don't want to put it on us because yeah. we are stable. We are, we prove we have professors behind us. We prove everything we do in chemistry and physics and they can't. We've been doing and it for a long time. And we have that almost too. 45 that years. Too. And if you can't realize life through chemistry and physics, then what good is science for yeah. you? Yeah. The pseudoscience of pharmaceutical world and stuff. I mean, what good is anything really world. if you're not feeling good? I mean, See? what good is it? Who said what? Who said this, that, what you read there? I mean, isn't it all about feeling good? Bottom line. Yeah. Bottom so line, why not you? try something that you mm. see people thriving on? But to be honest, you can go the other way and take all the pills, all the medications, all the mm. antibiotics, and talk to the people that have been doing that for a while. And I guarantee you almost, they're not feeling that good. They're but, not looking that great. They're not that positive. And they don't have that amazing outlook on life. Go to the other side and look at the people living on raw living. There are a lot of people out there now. They call it the raw, we call them raw foodists. So look it up. There are a lot of people. Lots of them. Lots of them. Of thousands and they of them. are talking about almost ecstasy. They are invigorated and happy just from waking up in the morning. They love life itself. It's yeah. about getting back to our nat natural state. It's natural to be excited, to be enthusiastic, to be creative, to want to speak your truth. It's natural. Everything else is being numbed down, dumbed down, in too much pain to even care about living. No People kidding. don't even care about living. They come to me and they say, I don't want to live anymore. And that is so oh, sad. I hear that all the time. That is I so hear that sad. all the time. That is sad. You know, I, there's not much to say other than that. We no. have one of the happiest groups, I think, yeah. of all the groups. Yeah. You know, you get you get see, all, how happy we are. Yeah, you, you get <laughs> offshoots, you know, like the, like know, the natural fast guy and stuff it. like that. But you can use okay. it to educate. You can use yeah. it to educate. You, you it's an can. example to educate. You're always going to have that. Yeah, you can, yeah. and you're always going to have those that take it way out yeah. there. And I can't judge him either because no. he's taking it out there. That's how we find evidence. That's yeah. how we find truth. Who who's got laboratories that are experimenting for us? Very few. Yeah. We we need we need to know how far you can take this. How how and, and no one's dying from it. But if you you can go too fast, absolutely. You can hurt yourself going too fast. You can set yourself back. But if you're if, full of shit and you just start right onto this, yeah, it could be overload. It could be like shit overload. If you don't have eliminated organs that's going to be able to tackle it, because, you know, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the limb system draining, yeah. you know, everything getting out. It's not so much about what we're taking in, you know, really. I mean, we're just taking in food, fruits. That's just food. It's, it's not what's miracle. not leaving you. It's not an elixir line, for I guess you. It's just food. Well, the bottom line is it's, it's what's not leaving you that's the problem. It is. It's not it's what's what staying in, in here yeah, that's the problem. Exactly. And it's why like, does things stay in? Look at the chemi look at the nature of chemistry. It's because we're all decided. Acids, <laughs> We're holding on to everything. Exactly. But look at which, well, that's an acid side there too. That's yeah. emotional. You can put acids yeah. to emotions. You can put acids to thoughts. You can put acid base to everything. Yeah. Duality. Yeah. Life is duality in creation. You can't get away from it. And it's just like yes or no. You don't yes have to no. live in duality. Yes or no. Yes or no. Exactly. Now you and consciousness is not duality, but your activity is yeah. thoughts, feelings, emotions. Everything is dualistic. Works for these two forces. And if you don't use that information and knowledge and applying it to diseases and other things, try it. Yeah. Just things just don't happen. Diseases just don't appear. People just don't catch. And what, I, I want to say to people that do something very, very, like very extreme, and they feel like they're getting worse. That's when you need to talk to a facilitator, and that's where you need to kind of slow down and educate yourself. You don't even have if you if you can't do that, if you don't have money to do that, look at all the videos, buy a book, or, or get a friend to buy you a book and, and gift it to you, or contact some of us because that's what it's about. You know, you need to be able to do this sustainability that I talk about too. You, you know? also got to realize that you're not a physical being and that you're going to have physical side effects in detox. Remember yeah. you walk back oh, from yeah. the road you walk oh, down. Yeah. You're actually that walking too. backwards yeah. the road. You're going to re-experience a lot of the symptoms you've experienced. We've talked a lot about Old this. injuries, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it's a kind of a walk back in that way. And it's perfect. Just think about mm -hmm. it. It's healing. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. all healing. But you also are going to have 
emotional detox. Yeah. You're going to have emotional healing crisis, oh, yeah. Troy. You're going to have healing crisis in some of these organs or some of these glands that affect you, like oh, healing yeah. crisis in the thyroid could leave you like, you know, and you, depressed. Depressed and everything oh, else. Went, yeah. Right? But you got to move through these. You have to pull yourself back to you that can control all of this because yeah. if you're in the control of the mind, you're like a leaf blowing in the wind where the hurricane was blowing all these limbs of away and no one had any control i know and that's from the physical side goes into the emotion but just think about everything else that comes up when you when you detoxify you're changing your life you might look at your friends differently i mean things around you will change but the thing is everything just gets more authentic so what happens is you get the chance to be more of who you are you to live your life more authentically sweeping away everything that you've been all the masks you've been wearing everything that you've been padding yourself with so you didn't have to to look at it mm -hmm. it's going to come out right in your face just like the same that i thought like you know what you're going to poop out you're going to pee out you're going to snot out you're going to get out your ears you, you're going to get the emotions i mean you're going to it's true you know? it's true chew on that it's <laughs> like <laughs> it's true you know it is true. So cry uh, for a week. I mean, it, it's okay. But it is okay. It, it is. is okay. Now, we're talking, <laughs> of course, physical, but this is true spiritually. Let's say yeah. you you didn't even have this diet. You 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 were just trying to grow spiritually. Yeah. Right. You're gonna go through the same stuff. Yes, exactly. You are. You're exactly. gonna go through emotional cleansing. You're gonna go through all the different levels of the mind. Yeah. And you're gonna go when you get to the id. For those that want to go deep into the God worlds, when you get to the ego, to the id, that's when it's going to really rip you. And these these people have no idea how ripped you can get. Mm -hmm. Because when you want to when you want to pull yourself back to consciousness, and something's holding you back, it'll rip it from you. Mm -hmm. And that could be your own self, your own ego, and it'll rip your own ego till you don't have one anymore. Until you merge with the all and realize we're all one. There's no we're individual in creation. But as consciousness we're part of the one. So we're all from the same source. Mm -hmm. It's just we're all looking through the eyes of different bodies. And so spiritually, when you want to pull yourself back to consciousness again and get out of this this journeys you've been on, it takes a little bit. You just doesn't suddenly wake up. Uh, uh, it doesn't work that way. You're That's why Fubi Quants is visiting yeah. a lot yeah. of you guys. I am. A yeah. lot of people are because we're trying to work you through these spiritual uh, uh, closed doors of yours yeah. and open them up so you can get more and more to consciousness. And so that's where we're going to be working a lot more uh, with me, the spiritual side. Yeah. And I warned them that this was coming. Yeah. You know, we needed. And I think a lot of people have been waiting for that. And a lot of well, people. Well, because are we've ready been we've that. been planning this. We've got yeah. to plant this that our modality properly, mm -hmm. and take the winds of Veronica and Troy and these things, and understand that we stand on the pillars of truth. Mm -hmm. You can beat us up all you want, but we stand on truth, and we will always stand on truth. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you can do about it because we have proof. Yeah. We cure these things. No one else is. So this is what you have to understand. And if you don't believe it, come join us. Yeah. And if you do have problems, let us help you through them. This yeah. is not a problem three world. No. You're going to go through detox. It's going to rip and tear. And like you said, acids coming out could hurt more. Your your systemic, uh, say, uh, lupus or Lyme could yeah. hurt more as you're hydrating. That's, that's where the fear it's comes the fear. up. It's like letting go of but the fear. But you let people kill your bacteria. You let people yeah. fill you full of chemistry. You let people treat I you. I would be fearful then. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Well, you've been, you been there. I have been there. I have been there. That. I did the meds. I did everything. I, did I, and I broke free from that. And I know how hard that is to break free. But you just don't have, you know, you can't, you have to just call it some bullshit. And this is an advanced rheumatoid arthritis case. So look at that for you with rheumatoid arthritis or any arthritis or lupus or life, same stuff. Yeah. Systemic acidosis. Yeah. Living proof of someone has their life's just getting better, better. There's a wash, she couldn't yeah. walk, and she yeah, broke her yeah, hip, yeah. and she did this. She yeah. didn't let nothing stop her. No. Kept on going down the world. She'd drive down the car barely alive, just trying to keep herself alive. She kept going and tenacity and strength and look. Because we're here. Someone bedridden couldn't walk. We're here on a mission. We're here on a mission. We're here on a mission. This is You're just on a mission. You're damn this straight. Is about, we are. This is my this is my purpose and, and my a passion. And a fun one, too, I because know. I love it. What's I more fun than cruising the God worlds, huh? What's <laughs> Thank more, you for yeah, watching. I mean, I mean, what's more fun than being free again, right? I know. And feeling I know. good. I know. I mean, it's amazing. Look, look, it's oh, amazing. Look at all the pain you're in. I mean, look at... Yeah. And look, yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. See you soon. See you soon. We love you guys. Thank you. And Thank you for watching.
Yeah, thank you for putting up with us. We get together, <laughs> yeah. we get a little quirky, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Just we because love, we love it. Remember yeah. the heart. Heart, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you crazy dude.